Hello and welcome to yet another YouTube video here on this channel. We are back with another first impressions video. This time it is an application called Vive Note. Uh, and if you're new to the channel, these first impression videos, I haven't actually tested out the application before jumping into it. And if you're wondering why my hair is all crazy, it's still, I still have an issue with some inner ear stuff dizziness, uh, headaches, you name it, I have it. Uh, but I'm feeling a lot better, at least good enough to film uh, videos, not good enough to comb my hair, like touching my head actually hurts a little. Uh, anyways, let's jump into the video. Let's start off with the pricing. We have uh, actually three uh, plans. We have a basic plan, a subscription plan, and a lifetime plan. Um, so there is a free forever plan, which is basically just a way for you to test out the application. You get up to 50 notes, you get unlimited visualizations, you get 50 AI credits. Uh, again, best to try out regular updates, uh, community support. On the subscription plan, uh, it is $9 each month or $90 each year, so not terrible on the pricing here. Uh, with that, you get unlimited of everything, even unlimited AI credits, which is great. You get regular updates and new features, priority email support. Like, I'm not a big fan of uh, adding this to your pricing, like regular updates and new features is something uh, I am expecting when I'm paying a monthly subscription, but that that is besides uh, the review. Like when, um, when applications add things like this, it really does annoy me. Um, best value is the lifetime access, uh, or they call it the best value. Uh, it is the lifetime access, so they have a lifetime plan. Um, Limited launch offer right now, 150 USD one time. That's 40% off. They also have uh, it uh, at regular price for 250 USD. You get lifetime access to all features, uh, unlimited notes, 300 AI credits per month. Not sure how that, how much that actually is. No reoccurring payments, uh, free updates for life, priority email support. Again, unlimited or everything. These are things you actually would expect when you're paying for a lifetime plan, like reoccurring payments and free updates for life, priority email support, things I am expecting when I'm paying for an application. Um, when we jump into this application right here, um, it looks interesting. So this sidebar has got, I'm getting really familiar with. A lot of applications have a similar sidebar to this. Uh, we have a folder structure, so I can have a folder. Let's create a folder. Let's do test. Uh, we're making a test folder and we can create a notebook. So let's call this notebook one. So a notebook underneath a folder. Can I have multiple notebooks underneath my folders? I can. Uh, let's call this uh, test two, like this. So now we have two different notebooks. Let's go ahead and add a new note. I'm really excited for this visual thing right here, but let's start off with a new note. So quite simple note editor. Let's call this test note one. I have something called connected notes. So my guess is that there is some backlinking ability here, or there should at least be some backlinking ability here. Uh, does it have like backslash functionality? It does not. Um, does it work with markdown? It does, so I can do a basic markdown inside of here. You actually have um, a bunch of different options. Uh, let's do like this. Let's try a to-do. It doesn't work. Let's try this. So that doesn't work either. Let's just click the to-do button. Let's do test to-do. You have word count down here. Is there any more customizability here? Uh, tables you can add, uh, links you can add here, quotes, uh, lists, you can uh, indent and outdent stuff, you can add images. So let's just add an image, crop it. So it is in here. Let's go ahead and remove. So it actually added my image as a to-do, so I can check off my image. That is fun. Uh, I like that. Um, Let's try and remove this image like this. Um, 
and we have quite basic text formatting. I guess I can change the text color as well. I can even put my own RGB uh, codes in here. I can add hex codes as well. Uh, what happens if I click here? So can I jump between things? So it seems like I can move it to another notebook from uh, here. Let's just go ahead and save this. Uh, and where did I put it? So I think I put it in my test note and it actually uh, shows it in sort of a card view, just like you would have in, uh, in uh, Google Keep or even my mind has something similar. I can actually put a reminder here uh, if I wanted to. So let's say you had uh, a bunch of to do's you wanted to do for a project. You could actually remind yourself of that thing. So that is feature I like. I like the ability to pin things. You can actually archive notes as well. Again, something I like. Can I share it? So I can share it uh, through email and I can allow editing. Um, but there isn't a way to just share a link and send that link to someone. Let's go back inside the note because I think there are more things here. What happens if I press this? So that gives me like a reading mode. I can also download it. It downloads it as a PDF. Let's go back. Uh, and this changes the background color. So my guess is that it changes the background color here. So it doesn't change it in this, uh, in the note editor, but when I go back to the card view, it actually changes the color, which is something I like. I can also add custom colors, but no uh, color codes here. You just have to use the color picker. So let's just pick a color. Uh, but I like having the ability to add different colors um, onto the card uh, view. Uh, this. My guess is that this copies things, it does, uh, and this gives it a tag or a label. So let's say this was work related, uh, we will just call it work. Let's go ahead and save it. So it gives it the work, um, it gives it the test note. So one issue I have with adding colors, especially if you have custom colors like this, uh, where you can pick your own uh, color, is that uh, Sometimes in applications, they don't change the text color when you change the uh, background color. So if I go back here and I just do a darker color like this, the text isn't actually visible in this view because they don't change up the text. That is an issue I've seen in many different applications and something I would like applications to fix. But again, that is a minor issue. Uh, there is something called connected notes. So how can I connect a note? Let's actually go and add another note. So let's call this note test two, and let's just save it. And let's try to connect a few notes together. So I can actually click this and I can connect them. But what happens when I connect notes? Nothing. Let's collapse this. So it says connect notes and it allows me to see a connected note so I can see if something is connected to another thing. It isn't backlinking. Uh, it has some of the same uh, features you would see in backlinking, but it isn't the same thing. Um, so let's connect this back again because when I click this X right here, it actually removes the connection so I can add and uh, remove the connection. So you see this yellow X right here, I can actually remove the collection from, uh, or the connection, not the collection from there. Uh, so not exactly backlinking, but similar. I actually like it. Uh, you can search your notes. Uh, you can also see your archive from here. I'm really excited to click this visualization button. What happens here? So here I can actually see my different notes. And these two are actually connected because I did connect them. So if I open this up, let's, that wasn't on purpose. Let's try again. And let's go here, uh, edit, and I just... So it doesn't seem to want to open it. Either I'm clicking too fast or there is a bug here. So let's click edit note. 
and it works so it was just me so it seems like it actually does the connection here it does the backlinking uh with the like note um not uh, name but note id and the name here in the end so if i go in here and i remove this and i save it does it want to save it doesn't want to save let's remove so it saved it just took a second let's go back to the visualization again that removes the connection between the two i can go ahead and i can connect them back can i add a new note from this here i can get a circular layout i can get the grid layout um it doesn't seem like i can actually uh, add things from right here so i can't add a new note nope doesn't seem like i can but i can connect other notes together let's do so i can connect notes together but i can't actually add a new note but i i think i like having like it isn't something i would need in uh, an application but i like the idea of being able to just jump into uh, a more visual view of my notebook. So let's say you had a notebook for a specific project and you had to connect a bunch of notes, but you just wanted to quickly see, uh, just visualize how all of the different notes are connected. You could just press that button and see it like this. So sort of like a graph view, but a graph view that you can actually use to connect things together because in most graph views if you have tried things like obsidian super notes log sec you can't connect things together from the graph view you can just backlink them when you're inside of a note here you can actually connect different things together when um when you are looking at the graph view which isn't actually a graph view it's just a whiteboard so again not a feature i wouldn't necessarily need but i i like the idea of visualizing it what happens if i press ai uh, studio so this just gives me a way to create uh, i can do knowledge quizzes i can get infographics so it seems like this is great for if you're a student and i think the overall application um will be great for students as well especially because of the ai but the simplicity of it it doesn't seem to be um be like a huge learning curve to uh, learning this application not a lot of features just a simple note-taking app uh, here you can filter by labels and date so i think i've covered most of the important stuff i think this looks like a really good application especially for students because of the AI stuff but I actually like the visualization as well that isn't something it isn't a feature I've seen in many different applications like having your graph view be a whiteboard instead of a graph uh, again not necessarily something I would recommend switching for just to have that feature but a really cool uh, feature to have i also like the visual uh, way of looking at the notebook like when you look at the notebook and you see those note cards uh, that is something i like i still think there is some tweaks that needs to be done to the ui like for example the cards should be the same size every time i use them um but in general i think it looks like an interesting application and this is one of those applications I definitely will revisit and do a full review on. So it looks interesting, really simple. Um, maybe it is a space for it in the PKM market, maybe it isn't, but at least an application worth taking a look at. But that covers it for today's video. If you have any questions, leave them down below and I will try to get to them as soon as I can. Thank you so, so much for watching today's video.